What if I told you the next world war won't be over oil? But over this tiny glowing rock, America's stealth jets, electric cars, even smartphones, all depend on rare earth. And guess who controls 70% of the supply? A global battle is unfolding. It's not over oil or gas, but over the rare earth metals that power everything, from cell phones to electric cars to fighter jets. This is the rare earth's war, and China has struck first. In April, President Trump raised tariffs on Chinese goods to a punishing 54%. Just days later, China retaliated by cutting off rare earth exports. One of them is samarium, vital for America's F-35 stealth fighters. Result, factories were shut down. The European Union felt pain seeing strategic projects in danger. Trump scrambled to negotiate three deals in six weeks, but the damage was done. Supply chains were snapped. China still controls 70% of global rare earth production and holds 50% of the world's known reserves. In year 2002, America's last magnet factory was sold to China. Today, United States' main rare earth miner, MP Materials, also sends raw ore back to China to be refined. This means USA dig it, but China own it. This isn't new. In year 2010, Hillary Clinton warned that Bush had made the United States dependent on Beijing. In year 2020, Trump signed orders to rebuild domestic rare earth production. But guess what? Little happened. Now the Pentagon is funding MP materials to build United States-based factories. This sounds hopeful, but even if successful, it'll only produce 0.0003% of China's year 2024 output. But here is the twist. China needs more rare earth's metals than ever. Over 50% of its imports now comes from Myanmar. Yes, the dragon is eating its own tail. Beijing is looking to the moon and Greenland for the next big rare earth reserves. Meanwhile, America is still trying to fix a problem it predicted 15 years ago. And every delay costs the United States the future. This is bigger than trade. It's about who controls the building blocks of the modern world. Electric vehicles, missiles, satellites, smartphones. And right now, China holds the cards. The question is, can the United States catch up before it's too late? Subscribe for more real-world geopolitics and tech warfare unraveled in under three minutes.